Hello IT pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. So for the video today I have found this uh, old Optiplex 360 as you're going to see the model in a few seconds. Uh, it's supposed to have Windows Vista and it's uh, Intel Core Duo and um, the place I found is one of the places I, I work or I, I, I provide service to and they have these all all computers in in the basement as well you can see the license <laughs> from afar for windows uh, vista and they also have computers that are supposed to have uh, that are supposed to have windows xp but I, I didn't try those yet so i chose this one uh, out of um, I, I just grabbed one <laughs> so uh, we're going to see if we can make it work if it's not working if it's working i don't know anything about this computer so uh, as mentioned it's kind of old we're going to see the model uh, in a few minutes, not the model, I mean, you know, when this computer was built and, and all that. So for that end, I already have my two cables, which is the power and the other is the, uh, the VGA. It doesn't have an HDMI, which is not a surprise. And uh, excuse me for my clutter on the left, I have to clean my desk. So this huge tower computer uh, <laughs> uh, uh, to fit this big tower computer. So as soon as I connect it, you see, uh, I was able to see uh, an orange glow, which is the motherboard. Now I'm testing out the power supply, which I know is working now. So I'm testing out, I'm pressing this button, which uh, most of the Dell computers have nowadays in the tower computers. And if you press it and it's green, you know it's working. If you want to see a bit about, about that, you can click on the top right of this screen. Now I'm going to lay it uh, on the side so we can work better. And we are continuing from there. Now that the computer is on its side, we can we can open it and see what's going on. So you can see that uh, orange glow that we see a few seconds ago, and I'm going to turn it on. And these computers are the commission, as you may imagine. So I mean, they, they are not doing anything. I'm just trying them out. Uh, so I'm trying the CD DVD. It's working, but nothing is showing. On the monitor even though it's connected to the integrated uh, video card that comes with the motherboard now i'm going to press on my monitor and you can see it's vga well it's an automatic so it's going to detect anything that is connected to any port hdmi vgi and uh, projector port i believe i have so now um, we're going to proceed to open it to see what's inside what's working what's not what we can tell about it now I'm looking for where is the, the switch or something like that and I found it so now I'm going to uh, put my camera so in a static position so I can use my both so I can use both of my hands okay now that we have more freedom I'm not uh, wearing an anti-static wrist strap because honestly I forgot where I, where I put it but I'm going to discharge my st uh, the static electricity that I might have in my body just touching uh, the case of this computer not the components, not the electrical components, just the case so uh, uh, as you can see here that's the motherboard that uh, orange light that we see at the beginning kind of at the beginning of the video and I'm just moving this uh, this is the integrated um, monitor port or video port for this motherboard and the one to the to the right is a video card so it's kind of a little hot right now so i don't know what model this one is but i believe it came with the computer i i suppose it came with the with the computer now um what i'm going to do is i'm going to disconnect it and since it's not working and i'm going to connect it to the video card and uh, by mistake i disconnected the power supply from this one so you you can see that the light went off and I don't have the, the video card uses a VD, VDI and I don't have that connector and my monitor doesn't have it either. So I'm going to use this connector in the middle so I can directly connect it. So I'm trying to do it, connect it to the DVI connector. And here I'm checking if the if something is wrong with the monitor because everything is connected but what I didn't realize and I'm going to realize in a few seconds is that the power is turned off it's not on 
I mean, it's connected to the power supply, it's connected to the to the to the socket in the wall, but it's not turned on. So I realized that I turn it on, and just after that, the the uh, the monitor went alive. So, and you can see that greenish bluish hue it has i have no idea why, why why that is happening so to make sure that was really the answer i disconnected i took out the connector and i'm going to plug it back to the uh, built-in uh, video card in the motherboard so i wait like 20 seconds or something like that i believe that's enough time for it to to recognize it it didn't so i'm going to connect it back to the video card that has the vdi port and I'm just trying to do it and it worked. So I can see Windows loading now. Now the video is going to be sped up uh, in some parts because it took a while. You, you can see the um, that thing is spinning. So since I don't have the password for this computer, I'm going to use a, a, a tool that I have a video about it. Perhaps you have watched it. If not, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. I'm going to reset the password using Hiram Boot CD, which is a free um, software. So uh, I can, I'm showing you here the fan, which is working. You can see the computer is really, really dirty. And this computer used to have two hard drives. I suppose they were working in right one, so everything was backed up. But it only has one, one physical disk now. And you can see the RAM. I believe they might be at least one gigabyte each or maximum two I don't think it's more than that and now I'm, I'm showing you the connector the VGA connector from the motherboard uh, and the other for the video card so we are connected to that right now that's the one that is working something that came to my mind is that perhaps uh, the it's not that the integrated video is stopped working it can, could be a reason I'm not saying that it's not but perhaps the owner of this computer disable disable it in the in the BIOS and it only allowed the video card the external video card where we are connected right now to work so that way well I don't know uh, you can avoid problems or something like that I'm not really sure but the thing is it's only have if you want to use two monitors you have to have both on but perhaps it die I'm not really sure about that the only thing I know is that the other is that the video card the external is working with no problem now I'm going to reset the password and I'll be back in a few minutes. Welcome back. So it took me around 10 minutes to reset the password. So again, I'm going to leave the link in the description below for that video so you can watch it. And uh, now I, this is Windows uh, Vista. I open a CMD, I type our classic system info command and we can see the name of the computer. Well, we cannot actually see it. We can check that it is Windows Vista Business. So that's a little about of professional. So this was joined to a domain. Uh, we can see that this computer was um, installed in 2008. So that's more than 10 years now. And the date is correct. This is the, the first time I'm, I'm starting the computer after many years, but the time is wrong, but the date is correct. So we can see Optiplex 360. It's a um, 32 base PC or eight, 86 and you can we can see the BIOS version here which is of course a little old 2008 <laughs> I wonder if there is an update for this perhaps there is in the Dell website now um, I'm here in the system or right click on this PC my PC whatever it's called in Windows Vista I, uh, properties so you can check we have the Intel uh, Core Duo we can see the frequency we can see it has four gigabytes of RAM and it's a 32-bit operating system. All right. And that's pretty much it what we can see here. So it's a 32-bit operating system. Right now, nowadays we are so used to 64, but those were the days. <laughs> now, uh, I don't need this anymore. Um, here I'm just showing you uh, the C drive, what it has, just to show you, just to... Another thing that I notice is that, as you can see, it's very fast. Even though this computer has been off for many years, it doesn't, I mean, the disk is not like, uh, as I expected, um, 
it's working very very slowly it's working just fine you can see i move the mouse uh, there is no lag on this and you can see these things on the right from windows vista it was characteristics from windows vista i believe they were called widgets you can see you were able to see stocks the time the calendar maybe pictures maybe other things it was interesting but it was only for windows uh, it was native in windows vista so actually windows vista was the first computer operating system that i i was given by my father and it's still working i mean uh, i don't use it anymore and i don't have it with me physically with me but if i ever have it i'm going to show it to you just to show you how it look now i'm opening the task manager to show you that the cpu utilization is really low the ram as well so it's working with no problems i mean it's just working <laughs> nicely doesn't seem like it is an old computer and that it has been shut down for many many years more than three at least so you can see the two cores there no problems there so everything working fine so now i'm going to close this i don't need it anymore so since this was kind of a letdown because i thought we were going to have more problems and i was going to show you how to troubleshoot i thought perhaps the the ram was failing or has failed already or the problem was in the uh, in the hard drive in the motherboard or in the processor but it was as simple as change the uh, the monitor port i mean the video port so since this was kind of a letdown uh, uh, what I want to try next, if you want me to, let me know in the comment section below. I want to try to convert, to turn this computer into a gaming computer. So I have a, a GeForce, an no, NVIDIA GeForce 1060, and I want to try to install it on this computer to see if it works. Perhaps, perhaps it won't, but I mean, this channel is to try things, right? So if you want me to do that, if you want to watch that content, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll try it with no problems. I'll, I'm going to install Windows 10. Uh, the operating system, this Vista operating system is 32 bits. I wonder if you can install a 64. I have to check that. I mean, if it is a 32 motherboard, uh, we won't be able, we have to install Windows, uh, Windows 10 32 bits if it exists. I really don't know if it exists, but I'm going to check that out so thank you very much for watching guys if you like this video please leave a like if you haven't just subscribed to the channel please consider doing so and click the notification bell to receive updates for future videos thank you very much and i'll see you in the next video